Patrick Sinner has just won the six, US three, Open. Six, four, seven, five. He was the best player. Coming into the tournament, he had the momentum from Cincinnati and then got knocked off of his axis when the news broke on the doping test. His team in tears centered the champion. He's in tears as well. Came to the tournament with a dark cloud over his head and now it's nothing but blue sky. Straight sets. Exonerated by the authorities for something that he really, in many ways, was victimized by. And he has played so well to put that behind him. Only they really know what this year has been like for them. But his level of tennis today, with the exception of a on a 15-minute stretch, was unimpeachable. Amazing defense, incredible offense, no holes in his game. Resilient when the crowd got involved. And now he holds two major titles in 2024. That's something else. Smile of his doll anytime soon. And these are the people that have been in the trenches with him. Through good times, tough times of late. But today, the center is a grinner. Sabalenka won the Australian Open, a hard court event. She won this one on hard, and the same has happened for Yannick Sinner. Sabalenka, the best hard court player in women's tennis, is this Italian guy the best hard court player in men's tennis? The seal of approval? He gets the seal of approval. That's exactly right. He's the best fast court hard court player okay. of this season. He's pretty good on the slow. He won Miami as well. So I think unequivocally he is this year. Will he be the, the player of the year? Most likely with this win, it becomes more and more likely he will finish the year world number one for the first time. He's done the work. He filled in all the holes as they etch his name into the trophy. He's etching himself into the history books in this sport pretty rapidly now. We'll have the trophy ceremony when we come back.